Well, here we are at the annual Chamber Awards, which is the absolute celebration of all that's great about the island's business community. It's the focus on all of those businesses who've worked so hard over many years and are doing some great stuff uh, for the Isle of Wight, and uh, tonight's their night. I'd like it to be sending out the message that uh, the Isle of Wight is a great place to do business. It's a place that uh, has innovation and a range of innovative businesses that we can be incredibly proud of. Some of these businesses trade all over the world and uh, their client base is just amazing and then we've got a collection of smaller local businesses that uh, have been on the island for many years and, and are really contributing in a positive way to the island's economy. One night, 15 awards and the best in Isle of Wight business brought together by the Isle of Wight Chamber of Commerce for the 2015 Business Awards for Excellence. Chamber President and Chief Executive of IFPL, Jeff Underwood, welcomed everyone to a packed event centre at Cow's Yacht Haven. He returned to the stage later to co-present the final trio of awards with our host, ITV's Simon Parkin. The winners came thick and fast, with advanced performance coatings picking up the new business award sponsored by Glanville's. The Small Business Award, sponsored by Liz Earl Beauty Company, went to Hobbs Jewelers. And the Green Business Award, sponsored by LSTF, was won by Tapnell Farm Accommodation. The Team Development Trophy, sponsored by Hover Travel, went to Rides Liz Earl Beauty Company. And the Social Investment Award, sponsored by Whitelink, went to a very surprised John Cattle from White Trash. In the tourism sector, it was celebration time for Atchiston Vineyard, who were named the Tourism, Leisure and Hospitality Award winner, sponsored by Red Funnel. Meanwhile, Black Gang Chine and Vectis Ventures won the Visitor Attraction Award, sponsored by Lifeline Alarms and Security Systems. Congratulations to Isle of Wight Pearl. It was a great night for Isle of Wight Pearl, who came away with two awards. The Customer Service Award, sponsored by Lloyd's Cardnet. Isle of Wight Pearl. And the Retail Industry Award, sponsored by Steve Porter Transport. Double celebrations too, for Mark Lee and the team at Lifeline Alarm Systems. The Newport business picked up two trophies for the Professional and Business Services Award sponsored by Lucas Fettis as well as the Chamber's Member of the Year Award presented by Chamber President Jeff Underwood. It was a momentous night for One Island Business. And the winner is RFEL. Newport-based technology company RFEL picked up the Manufacturing and New Technology Award sponsored by IFPL and the International Business Award, sponsored by Moore Stevens. And they made it a hat-trick by being named Business of the Year. A great moment for Dr. Alex Kurt, CEO of RFEL. Yeah, really surprised. We're already quite excited to be shortlisted in the three categories, but actually winning two of them and then also winning the Company of the Year Award, it's just amazing. What does it mean for you and the team? You're all here tonight, aren't you? Yeah, we've got a lot of the team here, about a third of the companies here. It means a lot to us because it, it really shows how much the Isle of Wight appreciates high-tech company business on the island. Not just tourism, but also recognising that there's another side to employment on the island. So it's, it means, yeah, really a lot for us. The Chamber's President's Cup went to John Owen and our host Simon Parkin even took a moment for a Chamber Awards selfie on stage. The evening finished with a packed dance floor and live music from Like the Beatles, a fitting end to a triumphant evening.